Hey friends, welcome back to Living It Country. I'm Holly and today we have another beautiful home we get to tour today and I am so excited to have my friend Jess from the Harvest Homesteader here today. She just recently changed her name and I absolutely love it, it's so cute. And we get to tour not only her home, but her dream home. And I'm so excited to be visiting a place she calls her safe haven and I just absolutely love that. So you guys are gonna get lots of ideas from Jess on how to decorate and style, but also how she makes her house a home. So I absolutely love that. If you guys are excited for today's video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll also link down below Jess's Instagram account as well as all the home tours that we've shared this month that are absolutely amazing to watch. And I'd like to thank Shop Tagger for partnering with us on the beginning portion of today's video. So let's go ahead and head to the computer and I'm gonna share with you guys some fun ways I've saved. I first started using Shop Tagger when we were going through our daughter's bedroom makeover and now I am hooked. I have been making over with my husband all sorts of rooms throughout our home as well as my mom's home. And we have a brand new series coming out this September where you guys will get to see all of those room makeovers, which I am so excited about. Some of the things I love about Shop Tagger is it alerts you when items go on sale. It's super easy to use and it's free. All you have to do is download it and install it into your web browser and when you're shopping and find something you love and wanna save, all you have to do is hit that Shop Tagger button. You can choose when you wanna be alerted for sale percentages, colors, and sizes if those apply. And when a product is back in stock or on sale, Shop Tagger actually emails you to let you know and if you download the app on your phone, you can get push notification emails too. They also let you organize your saved items and they have a section for coupon codes for more savings. ShopTagger even scans the web at checkout for coupon codes so you can save even more. And they also launched a new cashback feature for more savings too. You have nothing to lose when downloading ShopTagger. It's free to use and will save you a ton of money. I have a link in the description box below if you guys wanna check it out and use it too. Welcome to North Carolina. I'm Jess and this is the Harvest Homestead. We moved into this house just shy of a year ago. We moved in the first weekend in September of last year and we actually downsized quite a bit from a very traditional large home to this homestead on two acres and our last house had a formal dining room that we used on Christmas. So welcome to our formal dining room out in the country. This is where we eat most of our meals when the weather is right, and we have an eating kitchen inside, but we love to be outdoors and enjoy this beautiful scenery. As you can tell, we are in the south. It's hot and humid, so let's get you inside with a glass of sweet tea and a tour. Welcome to the heartbeat of our home. This is our kitchen, and it's my favorite room in the house. I love to cook. I love to cook for my family. I love to make old recipes from our grandparents. I love to try new things. I especially love trying copycat recipes from our favorite restaurants in our favorite city in the South, Charleston, South Carolina. This is where we gather, we do homework, we make important life decisions. This is the true heartbeat of our home. And talking about projects in this house, when we first moved in, we knew that we wanted to tackle these floors. These floors were an old tile that was gray, kind of boring, and we just knew we had to change them. So this is the first thing we did, and we picked out this fun pattern. I love black and white, especially in the kitchen. It's so clean and vibrant, and we have been so happy with these floors. Here we are in the eating kitchen that I mentioned when we were outside. The, this room was the first room that really sold me on this house because of these beautiful windows. We have the most gorgeous natural light coming through, especially in the morning. You can see straight onto, onto our back deck. You have the woods, the trees. It's just a beautiful scenery that feels like a sunroom. And we really utilize this space a lot when we entertain friends, family, neighbors. It's small, but we've really uh, used the space well. We have a bar cart here. So when I'm not offering you sweet tea, my husband will definitely offer you some breakfast. This china cabinet is 
is not an heirloom, but it is part of our family. It is a piece that we found while antiquing at the depot in Concord for you locals. I'm sure you know the depot. My husband is a great sport. He loves to tag along when we go antiquing and he found this, he fell in love, and ever since it's been the other woman. Talk about planning a house around a piece of furniture. This is the only piece of furniture that made it to this house from our last house because we love it that much and we knew we had to utilize it. We couldn't give it up. We thought we weren't gonna have space for it, but this has been the perfect space and we love changing it out seasonally. Right now I have my palm tree plate plates in here and just some fun summer things like some local honey and all our fun stuff just goes in here and is on display year round and we love it. And here we have our living room. This is the place for our entire family to gather. We all sit down on the couch and enjoy game nights, movie nights. We spend our Saturday mornings here all together and we can accommodate quite a few living things on the couch. Dogs, cats, grandparents, everybody can join and we still think we have room to grow. This fireplace was our very first DIY in this house. When we moved in, it was the ugly dated 90s red brick, that reddish orange color, which was just not working. So we decided to whitewash it and we thought if we didn't like it, We'll try whitewash first and then we can always just paint it completely white. But we started doing it. It took a Sunday afternoon, quick four hours, I think it was. And we started doing it and fell in love with the look, so we kept it. And I think it really brightens up this room. It adds a really nice touch. Um, we also knew that we did not want to hide it with a TV or a huge chunky mantle. So we got creative and we found this Magnolia galvanized shelf. We actually already had it and had no clue what we were gonna do with it because it's a little odd, but it's very cool. And my husband rigged it up there. We put the fern wreath and we think it looks awesome. It's a very cool kind of mantle and it really adds to our whole look of our fireplace and it keeps it simple. This is not where our living room ends. Let me show you outside where it extends. Welcome to our front porch. We love this space. We get to utilize it all year round because we, for the most part, have beautiful weather. It might be cold, but we get a blanket and we bundle up. We enjoy our rocking chairs. We enjoy our couch. We love it in the summertime because we have our fans going. And we can truly sit out here and embrace the country life. This is our favorite time of the day to come and enjoy our front porch. It's dusk, it's right before the fireflies start to come out. We grab a drink, we come and sit, and we just listen to the peaceful quiet. This joggling board is one of my favorite spaces to sit and enjoy our front porch. I don't know if you've ever heard of these, but we actually discovered this at our favorite restaurant in Charleston called Husk. These are called joggling boards and they are an old tradition in the South, they used to be called courting benches. So you would have this on your front porch and the girl and the boy would sit far enough apart that they could sit and enjoy a date without a chaperone. So we kind of go back and forth like this, kind of like a swing sideways. But as soon as we bought this house and saw this beautiful front porch, we knew we had to have a juggling board on it. Welcome to my husband's outdoor kitchen. On the weekends, you will find him behind the grill. And when we're feeling less formal, we like to sit out here and enjoy our meals. This is truly a space that my husband has owned. He loves being out here. One of the first projects he wanted to tackle when we moved in was building this fire pit. 
We love to roast s'mores and sit around as a family and have our friends here and just make it a true family space and entertainment space. Again, an extension of our home and utilizing all of our outdoor space. Get the kids behind the telescope. We have beautiful clear nights here where you can see the stars and the moon and we truly enjoy being out here as a family. Thank you so much for visiting the Harvest Homestead. I hope to see you on Instagram. We are going to be decorating soon for my personal favorite autumn season. So come visit me, see all of our decor that we're gonna put up. It's going to be Halloween and we have this beautiful baby here. Here's our little Halloween kitty. So come and visit us and see our decor for the holidays. Thanks, bye. A big thank you to Jess for opening up her beautiful home and sharing it with us here today. I hope you guys got lots of inspiration and I will see you guys later on Living It Country.